alcohol consumption on any level has been associated with carcinogenesis, cancer risk. Part of this is that alcohol consumption on any level when consumed in the evening is disruptive to your sleep, even one drink. And then the study that changed my mind is they took a look at something called lipopolysaccharide, which comes from the gut. And when the gut barrier is damaged and broken, meaning like people call it leaky gut, that's fine. I also would call it intestine, increased intestinal permeability. When the gut barrier is damaged and broken, this lipopolysaccharide gets into the bloodstream. So if you draw blood on a person and you're seeing, oh man, their LPS is spiking, you know the gut barrier has been harmed. Mm. All right, and in the study, they basically gave people a significant amount of alcohol. It was not one drink, a significant amount of alcohol. But here's what happened. Their blood alcohol level went up in parallel. Their lipopolysaccharide level went up. The lipopolysaccharide did not normalize until the alcohol normalized. Mm. So the fact that these things happened in parallel, the fact that you couldn't get LPS to get out of the bloodstream until the alcohol was also gone, to me provides the suggestion that we're better off without alcohol in our lives.